Mars has long fascinated us with its rust-colored landscapes and mysterious features, and despite decades of exploration, the red planet still hides secrets that keep scientists guessing. In this video today, we're diving into some of the most puzzling discoveries on Mars, anomalies so strange and specific that they challenge everything we thought we knew, from formations that look almost too intentional to natural phenomena that defy easy explanation. Get ready for a wild ride through Martian mysteries that are as real as they are intriguing. In the late 1970s, images taken by the Viking orbiter revealed a curious formation in the Sidonia region that appeared to resemble a human face. This face on Mars has ignited imaginations around the world, with some speculating about ancient Martian civilizations or hidden messages left by extraterrestrials. But is it really a face or just a trick of light and shadow on a rugged landscape? Later missions, including high-resolution imagery from Mars Global Surveyor, have shown that this face is simply a natural mesa, a hill sculpted by wind and erosion. Despite the overwhelming evidence that it is a geological feature, the mystery still lingers. The enduring allure lies in how our brains are wired to recognize faces even where none exist, a phenomenon called pareidolia. Imagine watching mysterious, dark lines appear on a slope with the change of seasons, lines that might hint at the presence of liquid water. These features, known as reoccurring slope lineae, were first noticed in high-resolution images from orbiting spacecraft. Initially, scientists were excited by the possibility that briny water might be trickling down Martian hillsides during the warmer months, potentially offering clues about Mars' habitability. However, as more data poured in, alternative explanations emerged. Some Researchers now believe that these streaks could be dry, granular flows, movements of sand and dust driven by seasonal temperature changes rather than water. Yet the debate is far from over. The fine details of the RSL's behavior continue to puzzle experts, keeping alive the tantalizing possibility that Mars might harbor conditions favorable for life, at least in its past, if not today. If you've ever seen a dust devil on Earth, you know that they can be both mesmerized and unpredictable. On Mars, these phenomena take on an even more epic scale. Towering dust devils, sometimes spanning hundreds of meters in diameter, have been captured by rovers like Spirit and Opportunity. They not only whisk Martian dust around, but they also play a crucial role in cleaning the solar panels of these robotic explorers, an essential survival trick on a planet where every watt counts. Moreover, Martian dust devils can generate powerful vortices that expose hidden layers of rock and dust, revealing the planet's geological history in unexpected ways. Their mysterious origins and immense scale continue to intrigue researchers who wonder how such dynamics operate in Mars' thin atmosphere. These swirling storms offer a vivid reminder that even on a seemingly barren world, natural forces are at work in dramatic, sometimes unpredictable ways. Take a look at a map of Mars, and you'll notice a startling contrast. The northern hemisphere is relatively smooth and low-lying, while the southern hemisphere is rugged, heavily cratered, and ancient. This phenomenon, known as hemispherical dichotomy, has left scientists scratching their heads for decades. Why would a planet have such a stark division in its terrain? One prevailing theory suggests that a colossal impact in Mars' distant past could could have reworked half of its crust, while another hypothesis points to differences in volcanic activity and mantle dynamics between the two halves. What makes this anomaly so captivating is not only the dramatic visual difference, but also what it implies about Mars' geological evolution. The dichotomy holds clues to the planet's internal processes, its volcanic history, and even its potential to have supported life. As researchers continue to piece together Mars' tumultuous past, this enduring mystery remains one of the planet's most debated and fascinating features. Today, Mars is largely magnetically inert, a stark contrast to Earth's vibrant, protective magnetic field. Yet scattered across its surface are regions with intense magnetic anomalies, remnants of a time when Mars might have boasted a global magnetic field. These pockets of magnetism, preserved in the crust, offer a glimpse into a bygone era when 
Mars may have shielded its surface from harmful cosmic radiation. What makes these magnetic stripes so perplexing is their irregular distribution and strength. Unlike Earth, where magnetic reversals have left clear, symmetrical patterns in the ocean floors, Mars' magnetized regions seem patchy and kind of disjointed. This discrepancy has spurred a host of theories, from a giant impact event that disrupted its magnetic field, to internal cooling processes that shut down its dynamo. Each hypothesis adds another layer to the mystery of Mars' evolution, leaving us to wonder how a planet once brimming with magnetic energy could become so mysteriously dormant. While exploring Mars, the Opportunity rover stumbled upon something unexpected. Small spherical concretions, affectionately dubbed blueberries. Composed mainly of hematite, these tiny spheres are not only visually striking, but also scientifically significant. Their formation suggests that liquid water once circulated in the region, precipitating the minerals that eventually coalesced into these perfect little balls. What makes the blueberries so fascinating is the precision of their formation process, which remains partly shrouded in mystery. Were they slowly formed in standing water, or did they result from more dynamic, possibly even episodic, chemical reactions? Their discovery has been a key piece of evidence in the ongoing quest to understand the red planet's climactic evolution, making these small spheres a disproportionately big enigma in Martian geology. Venture near the Martian South Pole and you'll encounter a landscape that looks like it's been etched by alien creatures. Radial channels and patterns resembling spider legs, collectively known as Araniform terrain. These formations arise from the sublimation of carbon dioxide ice during the spring. As the frozen CO2 turns directly into gas, it builds pressure beneath a translucent ice layer until it erupts, carving out intricate branching channels in the process. This dynamic process, unique to Mars, offers a captivating glimpse into the planet's seasonal rhythms. The exact mechanics and variability of these spider formations are still under study, making them one of Mars' most visually arresting and scientifically puzzling phenomena. Their alien appearance and the dramatic natural forces that shape them capture the imagination, challenging our perceptions of what a cold, desolate world can be capable of. When we think of earthquakes, we usually picture the trembling ground on our home planet, but Mars, too, experiences its own kind of seismic activity. Mars quakes. Detected by NASA's InSight lander, these tremors provide a rare window into the interior of the red planet. Mars quakes are less frequent and generally less intense than earthquakes here on Earth, but they pack a significant scientific punch. They help researchers map the Martian interior, revealing details about the planet's crust, mantle, and core. However, the origin of many of these quakes remains elusive. Some might be the result of cooling and contraction of the planet, while others could be linked to volcanic or tectonic activity that we have yet to fully understand. The intermittent nature of these seismic events keeps scientists on their toes, as each new quake adds a piece to the puzzle of Mars' inner workings. In essence, Mars quakes not only shake the surface, they shake up our understanding of the planet's geological past and present. Methane on Earth is often associated with life, and for years, scientists have been intrigued by sporadic methane spikes detected in the Martian atmosphere. These bursts of methane are particularly puzzling because methane is a short-lived gas. Without a constant source, it should quickly break down in Mars' harsh environment. So. Where does it come from? Some theories suggest geological processes, such as serpentinization, a reaction between certain rock types and water that could be releasing methane. Others have speculated, albeit more controversially, about the possibility of microbial life. The intermittent nature of these methane spikes makes them one of the most tantalizing and debated anomalies on Mars. Ongoing studies using both orbital and surface instruments aim to pinpoint the source of these 
emissions, but for now, the methane mystery remains one of Mars' most intriguing and potentially groundbreaking mysteries. Stretching over 4,000 kilometers across the Martian surface, Valles Marineris is one of the largest canyons in the solar system, a geological marvel that dwarfs even Earth's Grand Canyon. But beyond its sheer size, this vast chasm holds layered sedimentary deposits that tell a story of a planet in flux. Each layer could represent a different era in Mars history, from ancient periods when water might have flowed freely, to more volatile times marked by volcanic or tectonic upheavals. Some layers reveal irregular patterns that challenge conventional models of sediment deposition, hinting at episodic floods, dramatic climate shifts, or even volcanic ashfalls. These deposits are not only visually striking, they are the keys to unlocking Mars' past environment and assessing its potential for having supported life. As scientists continue to analyze data from orbiters and rovers, this place remains a focal point of research, its mysterious layers urging us to reconsider the dynamic and sometimes unpredictable history of our mysterious red neighbor. Alright guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Livia Kozolowski, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.